Mr. Corrigan here. Today, the Crystal Ray Podcast presents to you an audio, Stations of the Cross, featuring your regular podcast hosts and Sophia, Class of 2023, a special guest singer. Before we begin, here's Icy and Ujil with a brief explanation. The Stations of the Cross is a tradition that began in the very earliest decades of the Catholic Church. At first called the Way of the Cross, Christians would travel to Jerusalem and retrace Jesus' steps through the city streets, from the place he was convicted at trial to the place where he died and was buried. Over the centuries, Christians developed this into a meditative prayer of 15 events of his journey called Stations that could be done anywhere. The Stations are prayed especially during the season of Lent, and particularly on Good Friday, which is the day Christians memorialize Jesus' death. Catholic churches traditionally have artistic depictions of the stations to use for meditation. A series of wood curved images line the walls of our chapel. We hope this presentation will serve as a virtual version that can be done anywhere. Now, we will hand things over to podcast host Naja. As we begin, we pray. God of love, how do we celebrate the suffering and death of Jesus? We might rather look away and not watch, not stay with Jesus in his agony. Give us the strength to journey with him. Give us the courage to bring our weakness and imperfections with us. Give us the sensitivity to see the immensity of his love through his actions. Help us to feel deeply your forgiveness and mercy. Amen. 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 The first station, Jesus is condemned to die. It was an unfair conviction. Pilate knew Jesus was innocent but he went along with the crowd. How often do we go along with the crowd? How often do we make bad decisions? But we may think, I would never judge Jesus unfairly. Yet we do. Every time we judge another person, we judge Jesus because Jesus lives in all of us. We condemn Jesus when we gossip or when we decide another person is not good enough. We are as bad as Pilate when we judge another person because we never know the full story. Dear Jesus, I am so sorry you were falsely accused and had to suffer. I am sorry for all the times my own bad judgment caused someone to suffer. Please help me to make good decisions. Help me remember that when I am judging or criticizing someone else, I am judging you alive in them. The second station. Jesus is made to bear his cross. We all have crosses to carry. Maybe it is social pressure. Maybe it is work, study, or home care. Maybe it is responsibility for someone who is sick or weak. We may think our cross is too heavy. We may think we would just like to trade our responsibility or our cross with someone else, with someone we think has an easier or better life than ours. But everyone has a cross to bear, even Jesus. Just sometimes we're just so occupied thinking about our own struggles that we don't realize we're not the only ones and we don't see the burden someone else is carrying. Dear Jesus, please help me to be better at carrying the responsibilities and crosses that are given to me. When I am tempted to complain, remind me of your cross that you carried for me. 
Help me be sensitive to the responsibilities that those around me are carrying too. The third station, Jesus Falls the first time. It's embarrassing to trip and fall. We try to get up as quickly as we can. We hope that no one saw us. We might try to pretend it didn't happen. But worse than the embarrassment of a physical fall is when we fall into temptation. We cannot be so proud that we pretend we did not do something wrong. We need to apologize for what we did by falling and getting up again. Jesus shows us we can go on even after a bad mistake. Were you there when he fell beneath the cross? Were you there when he fell beneath the cross? Dear Jesus, please help me not to fall into bad habits or sin. When I do something that is wrong, help me admit to my mistake. Help me to learn how to say I am sorry. Please do not let me be so proud that I think I am perfect and everything I do is good. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. When we really love someone, we stand by them no matter what. If we can't be with them, we think about them or pray for them. Mary has that kind of great love for Jesus. She was standing right by the cross when Jesus died, and Jesus said to her, Woman, behold your son. With those words, he asked Mary to love all of us, just as she loved him. He asked all of us to love Mary, just as if she was our own mother. Were you there when that mother met her son? Were you Dear Mary, you love Jesus so much, how it have must hurt you to see him suffer and die. Thank you for loving me just like I was your own child. Help me to remember to come to you when I'm sad or lonely or scared. I know you will always be there for me. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. Poor Jesus had been up all night. He had been whipped. He was exhausted beyond belief. He needed help. Surely God could have sent an angel to help carry the heavy cross and no one would have known. But it is important to remember that Jesus accepted help from another person because we all need help. We cannot get through life or to eat heaven alone. We need each other. And like Jesus, we need to be humble enough to accept the help that is offered. Were you there when Simon held the cross? Were you Dear Jesus, sometimes I want to get all the credit, or I want to be in charge. I do not want anyone else to help me. I think I can do it all on my own, but you made us to live and work together in families and communities. Help me be better at accepting help and also offering to help others. The sixth station, 
Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. While others were making fun of Jesus, Veronica courageously stepped forward to wipe the sweat and blood from his face. Legend says that the image of the Lord's face was forever stamped upon this kind woman's veil. It is true that when we are kind to someone else, it can leave a permanent mark on them and also on us. We may remember the smile of the person for whom we held a door, which made our whole day better. We may become great friends with the neighbor we helped. Jesus, please help me to become kinder and more compassionate to all those I met today, both in and outside of my family. Help me to see your face in those who need a helping hand. Just as Veronica's veil was marked, let my heart be marked by the good things that I do. The Seventh Station Jesus Falls the Second Time Wouldn't it have been easier for Jesus, when he fell a second time, to just die there in the street before they could nail him to a cross? But even knowing what he faced, Jesus got up. That took great courage. Courage doesn't mean we are not afraid. It means that we do what we are supposed to do, even when we are afraid. When Jesus got up after the second fall, he showed us exactly what courage meant. Were you there when he fell onto the ground? Dear Lord, please give me courage when I am afraid. Help me to step up and do the right things. Help me to know that you are always walking with me. Please take my hand even when I fall and show me how to be brave. The eighth station, Jesus meets the woman in Jerusalem. In the midst of his own pain and suffering, Jesus stops to talk to some women who are crying. They are grieved that Jesus is going to die. We learn two important lessons from this quick minute that Jesus spent with the weeping women. First, Jesus cares when we are saddened. He has a very special place in his heart for the people who are mourning. If we just go to him, he will help make us feel better. Second, by his example, Jesus shows us how important it is for us to stop and help anyone who's suffering. Did you weep with the women on the way? Did you weep with the women on the way? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Did you? Dear Jesus, sometimes I don't know what to do when the person is upset or grieving, so I just turn away. But you did not run away from the crying woman. Please help me to know what to say and how to help the people in my life right now who are sad. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. Now Jesus is truly exhausted. He is tired beyond anything we have ever known. We all have days when we just want to pull the covers over our heads and not even get out of bed. 
Jesus shows us that we have to go on. We have to get up day after day and do the things that are required of us. Like Jesus, we have to stay committed to the work, whatever it might be, that God is asking us to do in our lives. Were you there when he fell one final time? Were you there when he fell one final time? Oh, sometimes it causes me to dream. Dear Lord, forgive me for the times when I get tired of my duties and responsibilities at home, school, or work. Forgive me for the times I just want to lay down and do nothing. Please give me strength to get up and do what you are calling me to do, just like you did with that heavy cross on your shoulders. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped. Clothes are very important to us. They can keep us warm. They can help us feel special. But sometimes we put too much emphasis on clothes or the other things we have. None of these things are as important as who we are before God. Even after they stripped Jesus of his clothes, he was still God. Fortunately, God has not stripped us of all we own. He has given us many good blessings. But sometimes when we keep wanting more and more for ourselves, we can strip others of what they need. Do we know how to be both grateful and generous? Were you there when they stripped him of his clothes? Were you there when they stripped him? and good things I have. Help me to realize that everything I have is a gift from you. Show me how you want me to share my blessings with others so they can have enough to be warm and safe as well. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Have you ever gotten shot with a needle? Even that little metal needle can hurt. Imagine how the big, sharp nails felt going through our Lord's hands and feet. But Jesus trusted in this heavenly Father. Dying in agony, Jesus prayed, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. This is a prayer of total trust. With these words, Jesus showed us that we, too, must believe that through God, all will turn out right. When we trust God, we can let go and surrender. Were you there when they nailed him to the cross? Were you God, please help me to trust you more. Sometimes I think I am in charge of everything. I worry too much, or I take too much credit. Help me remember that even when things seem bad, it is right and good to trust in you, and that the bad will never have the final word. Help me trust in you. The 12th Station Jesus dies on the cross. Some people may wonder why Jesus did not fly off the cross like a superhero with fireworks, angels, and music all around. Then everyone would have believed that he was truly God. But God wanted us to have a choice. God does not just drop a gift of faith in our laps and demand, here, you must have this, 
Instead, faith comes wrapped in messy layers of grief, sadness, crosses, thorns, nails, and even death. Faith is the decision that each of us must make over and over again. We must decide that, yes, in our darkest nights, God can rise in our hearts and grow with a brilliance of everlasting love. Dear Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. Thank you for this great gift of faith. May I never forget you are always alive in my heart, in my loved ones, and in the goodness of the world. The 13th Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. The whole world is silent now. The shouting crowds and the crying women are gone. All of creation whispers, What have we done? Through lies and schemes, the Son of God has been killed. In our own time, we too need to stop and be silent. It is often only in stillness that any of us realize what mistakes we have made. But our world is so noisy today that we don't take time to be quiet and alone with God. So we just keep doing the same wrong, stupid things. We need to come to God in silence, for that is where He hides. Were you there when they took Him from the cross? Jesus, help me shut out the noise of our world. Help me put down the phone, turn off the video, and simply be quiet alone with you. Whisper into my soul how I can do better. Remind me that when I hurt others, I'm hurting you, because you quietly live in all of us. The 14th Station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. The lifeless body of Jesus is laid in a cold, dark tomb, and a huge stone is rolled in front of the entrance. All seems lifeless and over, but God can change things. On Holy Thursday, He showed us that He can change plain bread and wine into the sacred body and blood of Jesus. On Easter, He shows us He can change death into glorious resurrection. God can transform our lives too. We can take whatever is bitter, anxious, terrible, selfish, or hateful in our own lives and lay it in the tomb with Jesus. And the love of God can change it for us. As God told us in the Old Testament, we may not know the plans God has for us, but He will give us a future of hope. Were you there when they laid Him in the tomb? Dear God, let me never forget how amazing and powerful you are. You can conquer death. You can conquer whatever seems wrong, lifeless, or sad in my life, too. Thank you for that hope, dear Lord. The 15th station. Jesus is raised from the dead. 
On the morning of the third day, the women who came to care for Jesus' body found his tomb empty. Angels tell them, Do not be afraid. He is not here. He has been raised, just as he said. He appeared to his friends that day in the flesh. And they came to truly know it. Jesus, Jesus has, has, had has risen. risen. Jesus, in your death, humanity showed you the worst of what we are capable of. But even all of the human sin could not swallow you up. Instead, love has the final word. You conquered evil and death itself. And when you returned, instead of condemnation, you brought only more love, mercy, total forgiveness. I'm dying. You destroyed our death. And in rising, you restore our life. Alleluia means God be praised. And this is why on Easter, we joyously proclaim, Christ, 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 Christ is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Risen our victorious head. Sing his praises. Alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead. Mercy, Mercy, Mercy Jesus. 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 We have come with humility to take this journey with you and each other. We seek repentance for any sins that came to the surface of our hearts and minds during this time. May we have been transformed by our meditation and prayer. May the sight of your cross inspire us with hope and assurance. Let the cross be a sign of your unending love and mercy for all human kind. Christ, we adore you. We hope in you. We love you above all things. Let us close by praying together. To God the Father and the words that Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will, will be done on earth as it is as in it is heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.